previously on Behind the Bee. That's one of our teams that we're fighting against. I can't say it enough. Right now, hey, I'm trying to show some attitude because that's what we need. Congrats. We got to knock some bodies around down in front there, boys. They're hanging around in front of our net. We got to knock them down. are above all else a family. Maybe not in the traditional sense, but they're a tight-knit group that supports one another through teamwork, dedication, effort, and determination. One of their core principles is giving back. As the team faced the lightning on Veterans Day, they honored the men and women of the U.S. Armed Forces. special day for the whole team, for five Bs, including defenseman Dennis Seidenberg, who purchased tickets for the troops, the day is extra special. After the win, the rugged D-man hurried through his 25-minute post-game workout to thank some of those who have done so much for our country. What's going on, Thank you for right. the opportunity. I know oh. you donated to this. All right. Thanks for everything. Great game today. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you, Barry. Yeah, have a good day. Did it fun tonight? Yeah. You come to a lot of games? Yeah? I'm so nervous talking to you, no idea. Don't be nervous. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks nice. for coming. Great game. Yeah, thank you. So all you guys from Army are, Army are basically I'm in the there? Guard, yes. Oh, Guard. Okay. Work full time, every day of my life. You enjoy it? I do. Nice. Best thing ever. All right, thank nice you so much. Meeting. So you're going to be all set with this, or? Oh, uh, yeah, I just got, um, I actually just got my Army MT uh, a month ago. Oh, wow. I was wounded back in 2011, got shot a few times, and they finally amputated it. Once Sorry I, about that, huh? my 14th surgery, so. It's so cool. How was your morning? Good. This is the following day, the team has a well-deserved day off, which Dennis spends with his wife and young children in Boston. Whoa! Yeah. Oh, okay. We had gone so much, so when, uh, when we got time to spend time with the family and the kids, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun and you, you get to appreciate that little time you get to spend with them. And uh, today's one of, the, one of those days. Come here. Yeah. Oh my God. Come here. Oh my God, I'm too big. No, I'm not. There we go. All right, let's go back, okay? You want to get lunch? Do we get some lunch? <laughs> no, e. I didn't know why. In a long NHL season, inspiration comes from many different places. Good morning, guys. How are you doing this morning? Today it's coming from Bruins office assistant John Dunleavy, who addressed the team before their tilt with Columbus. This is my first time. Big news piece to you. Go get them. It's supposed to be old timers and new timers. Why right now? Go out there, so what you got. It's about us. It's do, do it for your fans. They all care about you. I hope the best of luck. Go get them. The team responded by going out and beating the Blue Jackets three to two in overtime. If he gets there, he's going to break away. Lucic to the net. Shot score! Milan Lucic goes five hole on 
a breakaway in overtime to win the game. Ottawa, Ontario, Canada's capital city and the first stop in a three-game road swing for the Bruins. While it's an away game for the Bruins, every time head coach Claude Julien travels to Ottawa, he's actually going home because it's where he was born and raised and where most of his family remains today. Yes. I was a little bit hectic when you're at home. Lots to do. Uh, family, friends, games. You know, after games you see friends and, uh, you know, family as I mentioned. And uh, so you got to remember to bring everything. Once in a while there's a request, signed jersey, uh, uh, something of the sort. Claude has a lot on his plate here in Ottawa, but no matter what's happening off the ice, his mind is still on it. The biggest challenge right now in those kind of games, back-to-back -back games where you travel, is, uh, is obviously getting your legs under you nice and early. So uh, hopefully we can do that. Thank you. Thank you, sir. See you guys. See ya. Game time in Ottawa, and time for Julianne to start the chess match that is coaching an NHL hockey game. Put my fourth line on now. He's probably going to play his top line against Skoke. Kels against it because Z is uh, not out there. They already changed, Wes. They already changed. The guys are already on the ice, Wes. Huh? I'm here. Taking a look. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Don't always have to bring it to the corner, eh? Marcy, every once in a while, shoot from the slot. Good job here. Stake to an early lead, and with the bees dominating the play, Julien makes sure his troops know not to let the Senators get a spark. You don't have to fight him right now. You can, yeah, no. If he does, just tell him. Coach said no right now. You, you've had that done to you a few times. If, that, if it happens to be a, a Smith line, don't, don't give him any momentum. Don't just take. Coach won't let me take. Neil, anybody? Come and come see you later. Nobody fights us when hey. Nobody fights us. No, exactly, us exactly. They will. They'll pinch along the walls there in mid, middle ice, hey guys. So. No here every time. Keep your head up. In the neutral zone. The D's love to hit there. That's okay. That's where they take the hit to make a play there, Smitty. Good job. Prince, spitting all over your visor here. You're spitting all over your visor. Despite playing great, one mistake late in the first period takes some wind out of the Boston sails. Me, quit around. So the Bruins head into the dressing room up two to one after one, and hoping to regain their early momentum in the second period. Let's get in their faces, boy. Let's get in their faces. We're not winning any draws right now. We're getting outworked on their. Uh, on our PP here, guys, so. Come on, Jace, take your, take your skirt off. The team holds on to the 2-1 lead through the second, but in the third period, things start to unravel, and quickly. Next side, next side. Come on, guys, get pissed off here. Let's get the next one. Come on, boys, stay positive here. Find a way, find a way here. Stay positive. Lots of time. So what we need to do here is settle down, go back to what we had in the first period. Every strong play, everything's at the net. We're going there with a purpose, but don't force things here, okay? So let's just take a step back. Let's go back to our way. We scored two goals in less than half a period at the beginning. That's all we got to do here. All right? So we'll play determined, go hard, here. Okay? If you mean what you're saying here, go out and do it, right? 
Hey, get some life on this bench here. Let's get some life on this bench here. Stay determined here, guys. Not discouraged. Stay determined. Okay? All we need is one here to get us going. A stinging loss. But there is a group of people waiting for Claude that are proud of him and his accomplishments, regardless of tonight's result. Ça va? Ça va bien? Ça va bien. Rick? Salut, salut. 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 You can stay there if you don't want to come see hey, me. Hey, come here. <laughs> That's as small as we could get. So, did you see? It's the, the same as the other did one, yeah. Did you see the back? Oh. See the back? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we leave, we leave Sunday morning. We're flying out to uh, Carolina. We're going to practice there in the afternoon, and then we got Carolina Monday, and then uh, Rangers in New York on Tuesday. As Dennis Seidenberg and the Bruins take the ice against the Carolina Hurricanes, they are again faced with two games and two nights. And after dropping game one of this trip, they are focused on getting off to a good start. Hey! Let's be good. Hey! Buddy. Nice play, thank you. Thanks for passing, man. Hey, please score, boys, right now. Nice play, boys! That's all right. Buddy. That's all right. I like it. Yeah. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, sorry, man. Paul, we're sorry, bud. Yeah. Every game I've drawn one. Yeah! <laughs> the right save. Sick, sick face off. Sick tip. Hey, nice play, Smitty. No one who passed it to it. It's tough for me to take him away because he's getting out. I know, I saw I saw that coming though. <laughs> oh. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> They're coming at us, I have to go this way. I know. I know. You're trying to pull me down too. The Bruins' penalty kill has been on fire, killing 29 straight. Halfway through the second, this streak was put to the test as the Bees were on the wrong end of a five on three situation for more than a minute. Hey, they're going to go down to this guy here, and this guy's going to pop up. It's the size you have this guy here. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Chara tries to scoop the backhand out. Seidenberg wins a puck battle against Riley Nash and tosses it the length of the rink. Ryan Murphy gains entry, flips it in deep, but Seidenberg takes it in in one motion, skitters it all the way down the ice. Seidenberg, Chara, and Bergeron push the streak to 31, and the Bees maintain their lead. Come on! I was playing it down. Seidenberg spent two and a half seasons in Carolina before eventually making his way to Boston. And apparently, he made friends with the penalty box official. I miss you playing here. <laughs> oh. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Say it later. Come on. Oh. Hey, nice shot, man. There it is, a straight legged one timer. That was a straight legged. When you hear the coaches talk about winning puck battles, this is what they're talking about. Oh. 
Thanks. Good job, man. Thanks. We learned two things about the Bruins in this win. First, the team has the effort and determination to fight back after a difficult loss. Second, Matt Barkowski speaks German. Du hast zwei Schweigespräche. Wer sind meine zwei Brüder? Wer? Wer? Ja. After a few moments to enjoy the win, Dennis and the guys are off to the team plane. Where there's time for a late meal and a relaxing game of cards on the flight to New York. As all hockey parents know, many sacrifices are made for your child to play the game. At early morning practices and freezing cold rinks, dreams are formed of skating in an NHL game. Tonight at the Garden, Kirk and Kathy Miller are about to see their son Kevin fulfill that dream. A little nervous for him, you know, as long as he plays, uh, plays his game, I think he'll be fine, you know. Uh, uh, but uh, it's just... This is just the culmination of a, of a child's life of a lifetime dream. Where's my boy? Right there. <laughs> oh, I see him. There he is. Wait. <laughs> Way forward to Payarvi. Payarvi has back his near side. Miller just throws Payarvi off the puck. Kevin plays a solid game in his NHL debut. And though it's a shootout loss for the Bees for one night and one family, it's not about who won or who lost. <laughs> Can I get a kiss too? <laughs> now everyone knows that hockey is a team game for the players, but it's also one for the assistant coaches. During each Bruins game, Doug Huda handles the defenseman and penalty kill, Jeff Ward manages the forwards and power play, and Doug Jarvis is the eye in the sky in constant communication with the bench. Tonight, all the coaches and players will need to be at their best as they take on Sidney Crosby and the Pittsburgh Penguins. Watch the guy behind the net there, see that? He sneaks there, you gotta make sure you get there and cut that off, boys. Sure, we get pretty uh, spread out there. Wardy, we, we really lose our that two-man cycle we were talking about. F1, move your feet. Move F1, move your feet. Go, Marshy, that's it. There really hasn't been much uh, aggressiveness from their defensemen uh, up to this point. <laughs> Between periods, Coach Jarvis makes his way to the B's locker room, reviews the period with head coach Claude Julien, and figures out what adjustments they need to make. Yeah. Almost like I was saying, the so chips were going into here. Yeah. We were getting actually in on them, them. Yeah. you know, which yeah. was, uh, was good from earlier in the period. We were rimming it to their goalie out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so the slow first half got better in the second half there, and obviously that goal kind of helped us get going there. But, uh, yeah. We've got to be a lot better net. One thing with the second period here, being aware of those changes, because they like to sit high a lot of times, those wingers. As soon as you see them come back and start to wind up, you guys got to get up and get your gap and get your feet moving too. If you're standing still waiting for them, they'll come right through you at that speed. Come on, boys, we got to be live here more. Everybody here. Midway through the third, the Bruins were hanging on to their 2-1 to one lead. But if you've seen these two teams play, you kind of figured that wouldn't be the final score. We need to stay in line and we need to take the Yeah! Good wrister from the top. Okay, we got two minutes left here. Quick short shifts, make sure that everything is hard right now, okay? Everything is going to be around the net. We keep it hard, we bang the pucks out. 
Hockey at its highest level is a game of inches, of determination, and of split seconds. No! No! No goal! Green lights on! No goal! Jeremy says there was 0.2 seconds left. Sidney Crosby's last nanosecond goal means we're headed to overtime. Let's get ready here, boys. Hey, Parkett, got to go win an OT here. Let's go. Good coaching decisions can mean the difference between winning and losing. And in overtime, we see this firsthand. Go now. Let's go. You want 1D? 1D. Oh, you want Tori? Go, Tori. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Tonight's win was a total group effort, with the Bees getting contributions from the players and the coaches. And as the black and gold pass the quarter pole of the NHL season, they know they will need to attack the remainder of it the same way, together as a family.